Tony again with Hippie and the Tech, and today we have Michael Hoover with DMV to talk about a fifth wheel that's designed for full-time living. Tell us about this thing. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we build for the full-time customers. Um, we warranty for full-time customers. That, that's a huge difference from uh, a lot of competitors is that we actually warranty uh, for full-time living. So what, what does that mean? We want you to live in it. Right? We want so you to wait, live wait, in wait, it wait, all wait. year round. You're not going to like can't void the warranty if you nope. find out we're living in it? No. Who does that? Absolutely. It's built for warm weather, whether you you uh, you go to Florida or you're in Texas, Arizona. Mm -hmm. We we the way we do our walls and our installation is the thickest wall in the RV fifth wheel industry at 3 and a quarter inches thick. So we put high density wool insulation so the exact same stuff you're putting in your house is the exact same stuff wait, we're putting wait, in the fifth wheel. Not 3 quarter. Three and a quarter inches. Three thick. and a quarter inches. Yes. So my walls that are this big, and everybody can hear anything I'm doing, no matter what room I'm in. It's actually this big with with bad insulation in it. Yeah, I'm so glad you said that. Actually, it's because part of my uh, whole spiel at a show is we're inside, so sometimes it can be fairly noisy. Yeah. I like to bring a customer inside, and shut that door, and have them listen to the difference of of what those walls actually do and cutting down that sound. We, we got to try that here in, in this video. So what are some of the technological advances in uh, this fifth wheel? So as far as like technology with um, electronics and that sort of stuff, we let the, the industry kind of control that, figure out those kinks before we put it onto our unit. You know, it's funny. I don't know if you notice, if you go to a lot of RV shows, when one manufacturer comes out with something, the next few months, they all start rolling it out, and then when there's an issue with one, they all have the same issue. So mm -hmm. I've been in manufacturing before, and it's really good to test and, and, and make sure that you don't roll something out too early. I can go for example, we just had a customer not too long ago do one of those systems, and by the time they got it, because it's a four month lead time, when you put an order in, to when you receive it, it's four months. By the time they received it, there was already an upgrade that happened. So the manufacturer of that system had to send the customer directly a piece. So that's how quickly things can change. So that's why we like to kind of stay true to who we are, what's built and represented the brand. This 2020 is all about the product. So we're excited to see where things go, um, bring, in, bring in some new flavor coming up. So what about um, stationary versus mobile? How, how, how good do these do in, in those realms? Absolutely. So we really build for both. A lot of our clientele, what you'll find is they are stationary for five, six, seven months at a time. Um, but you also have those customers that travel all the time. And we build for both of those. And one of the things you're going to find out is um, we are heavier, but we have a 15 inch triple stacked box tube frame. So it's not a 12 inch I-beam. It's a six inch tube on a six inch tube on a three inch tube. So we're a heavy duty, strong frame. Okay. From there, you go look at a running gear, okay? We're gonna be independent suspension. So there's, if you get down there and you look, there is no leaf spring. Each tire is completely on its own. Okay. No and it allows five inches of travel. Wow. So best example I can give you, you're at a red light and you make a right turn. That front tire goes up on that curb. If there's a leaf spring, and if you stopped your truck and you got out with that leaf spring system, you would see that that back tire is two to three inches off the ground and it's not touching a thing. Right. Independent, they're completely on their own. Front tire goes up, back tire has no clue until it hits it. So it's a much smoother ride going down that road. So you can jump curbs as much I mean, as you, you want. I mean, you could. I mean, that's, you can do that with this one. That's great. You could. So what are the, you know, when somebody's looking for, for a fifth wheel, what, what are the top three things that you would recommend our viewers to check off. So when, when you are A, looking at full timing, because that's gonna be really the first kicker of it all, is when you're looking for a luxury full time fifth wheel, DRV mobile suite should be right there. Um, because of our wall, sidewall structure, three and a quarter inches, th three and a quarter inches thick sidewall with a high density wool batten insulation is gonna help you in the long run. So when you're in hot weather and those ACs are running, mm -hmm. you're gonna keep that unit cool right? Um, another thing is for those travelers, that Moride independent suspension, it's an expensive and very heavy um, suspension that we put standard on our units. A lot of our clientele, you'll, you will find that they're going to be in campgrounds, resorts, and they're going to be hooked up to 50 amp a lot of the time. However, 
those that are going to be more mobile going out and traveling that might not be hooked up all the time we can do anything from a 5.5 generator all the way up to a 12,000 watt diesel generator wow. so you have propane gas or diesel you tell me what you want and we'll do it um, you're going to come standard with a 1,000 watt inverter that will power directly to the refrigerator but if you want to upgrade to the 2800 watt That'll give you two extra batteries for a total of four. That will power your refrigerator and the 110 outlets inside the coach. And then from there, we do a standard eight gauge solar prep wire. Okay. Um, if you want to upgrade that to a, a four, two, whatever, you tell me. Maybe you want two runs, we can do that. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility. As long as it's something we can do at the factory, for the most part, we're going to do it for you. Awesome. Well, I want to get inside. Let's go, let's go take a look. Absolutely. All right, so here we are in the 41 RKSB. It's a rear kitchen floor plan. Uh, as you can see, this is pretty much a gourmet kitchen. There's a lot of amenities here, a lot of storage for you, and a lot of countertop. Um, this is a solid surface countertop that wraps around the whole kitchen. Um, if you wanted uh, quartz countertops, we could do that as well. What you'll find is a split sink, 60-40 sink. Um, when you go more towards this side, you're gonna find it's gonna be a convection microwave. Your, your three burner uh, stove top, and this one has the optional um, oven in it as well. Um, we can do induction. There's a lot of flexibility, you know, with, with some things that we can do for you depending on what you want and how your lifestyle is. A lot of times I tell people what someone's lifestyle is doesn't always match yours. So make sure we figure out what it is that you want and we can, we can set it up that way for you. Here's the uh, Residential reefer I was discussing earlier. I get this question a lot is can we still do the RV gas electric refrigerator? Absolutely um, If you want an 18 cubic foot, it'll match up in the exact same framing if you want a 13 We can do that as well right. one cool thing about this rear kitchen floor plan that makes it just a bit different is in a lot of fifth wheels They have a wall here. Yeah, yeah. we didn't want that we wanted the TV to be recessed in, so if you're not watching TV, it is a huge, nice open space. Oh, this this is just really nice. Got right, one thing up here you need to see. Oh, a cedar closet? A cedar-lined closet, right? Makes it more bug resistant and things like that, moisture resistant. Um, and it always kind of has that nice smell throughout the RV, being that it's real cedar lined closet. Depending on the floor plan, we have a vanity slide, and that's what this is here. So what we're doing is this, this is actually in a slide out. It's only 10 inches deep. So all we're doing is taking your dresser, that would typically be here, and you have a much smaller space to walk around the bed. We're putting it on a little slide out to bump it out 10, 10 inches just to give you a little bit more space walking around the bed. So how customized can you get with these? So we classify ourselves as semi-custom. You choose a floor plan and from there there's some, there's some things that we can do. The best thing I will say as far as like cabinets and things like that, as long as it's a cabinet door that we already make in another floor plan, we can do it. Um, so it, it's within reason. Um, we don't want to get to 40, 50 specials. Specials is what we call them. Um, there's some customers that have and we'll, we'll, we'll work with you. But this, it is awesome. First off, I will say what, what's great about this is all of your tanks, you have access to everything on, the, on our fifth wheel. In most fifth wheels, your tanks and everything are located in your underbelly. Mm -hmm. Ours are all right here. So your black tanks right there, gray tanks right here, and the all copper water manifold with individual shutoff valves. Cold, hot, and they're all labeled. So if you have a leak at the kitchen sink, come down here, turn off the water, isolate the, the line with the issue, and still be able to go take a shower. You don't have to cut down your whole unit. What about, uh, since we have access to the tanks, what size tanks are they? So you have a 50 gallon uh, black tank, 75 gallon gray, and 100 gallon fresh. Wow. Gonna tell you one other thing real quick. In most fifth wheels and RVs in general, you can't read your tank levels, right? Or they're inaccurate. You hear that all the time, yeah. okay? There's an invention out there that a lot of manufacturers don't use that we're gonna use standard. It's called sea level tank monitoring system. It's located on the outside of the tank. It sends in a sonar that's gonna read how full your tank level is. 
So what's great is, if you have an issue with it, mind you, you have access to my tanks, unplug it, peel it off, stick a new one on, plug it back in, and you can head back down the road. We've been putting out a ton of great information on these videos, and Avalon has helped a lot. And I don't know if you know this, but you don't have to buy an RV at your local place. You can actually go anywhere you want in the country. And we like to support RV dealerships that help their customers and really go above and beyond. And Avalon and the team there, Sean Thrasher, we've you've heard that name quite a bit today. Uh, they've helped us out tremendously. And so we just want to give that back and say, hey, if you ever need anything, look for this logo, Avalon RV Center in Medina, uh, almost in Medina, Florida, in Medina, Ohio. We're heading to Florida. Tropical. Try, yeah, we can't wait. It's always warm. Hey, listen, we love Ohio, but it is freezing out there right now. We're, we're heading to Florida.